Yep, it's no on it. And uh, it's just console.log vlog. So I'm just doing a sort of casual vlog. And you know the deal, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd wax verbatim on the subject of, well, it's almost like a cliche, really. And uh, here I am drinking a monster drink, another cliche about developers that's probably based somewhat in truth. Mm. Uh, basically I wanted to talk about developers and developers being messy. Now obviously I guess this is not going to be every developer, it's just more like a generalisation slash uh, stereotype that exists about developers, which I think is probably partially true for a lot of people. It's and I'll be honest here, it's definitely true for me at times, though I do try and keep handling it. So by mess, I mean like actually your actual environment you work in physically, not your actual computer, not the code you write, I don't mean anything like that. I mean just like the actual environment you work in and how easy it is for it to fall into a kind of uh, <clears throat> absolute chaos, essentially. And I wanted to just say, from my perspective, why this happens, maybe? Um, so, some people would say, yeah, you're making fucking excuses, mate. Oh. Seriously, like, it, it is a thing. So, um, I guess if like, I explored this from a sort of faux psychology aspect, um, so I'd say that the, the uh, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the, the like big five test recently. So I'm starting to use that as a more of a tool for um, like assessing, you know, like, like my personality strengths and weaknesses. And, and everyone can individually do that. But I guess I'll just do it via the Myers Briggs because everyone has a bit better understanding of that. So my Myers Briggs is INTP, introverted, intuitive, thinking and perceiving, which is. Uh, it's a little bit complicated subject, but essentially uh, introverted means my focus is internal, my mind basically, or fit TI, which is introverted thinking. My I'm intuitive, so I like connecting new dots and working with novel information to produce something new. Um, uh, thinking, yeah, so that's TI at least, so T, introversion working with thinking. Um, perceiving or prospecting, I think, which is more like uh, look, searching for new possibilities as opposed to ones. But there is this cliche with uh, that personality type, uh, and you know it's not that prescriptive. It doesn't mean that it's more like a um, it's more like a I don't know, like a sort of framework maybe. But um, yeah, what was I? So like, there's a cliche about INTPs though, and a lot of INTPs are sort of geared function wise for programming uh, um, very messy with their environments that they 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 are internally very ordered so there's a bit of an uh, interesting contradiction with how NTPs work so INTPs are very focused on truth objectivity um, efficiency and uh, uh, improvement iterative improvement of systems which is why they're actually quite well suited to programming because basically programming is uh, obviously it's logic, there's a logic involved and there is some degree of design, there's some degree of making things work efficiently. So it's problem solving, right? So they, they that's why INT is like proper bomb off it. And you know, other uh, sort of adjacent types like INTJ and all that sort of thing. Um, I mean, I'm not being like, I'm not saying that only these types can do that. There's different types of programmers who've got different strengths and weaknesses. But overall, like INTPs are a general, Generally, there'll be a lot. There'll be like an over um, representation, I imagine, of INTPs in the programming uh, for trade, basically. I think. Anyway, on to why I think um, we struggle with our environment sometimes. Um, essentially, because we're so focused on the coding aspect, which is we're trying to really um, create the most efficient solution, we have to balance a lot of different factors. So all that's going on in our heads, so it leads to us probably, uh, I mean, I sort of, the way I sort of think about it is that I'm sort of blind to it. I mean, I know that some people 
you know, people, especially people who've like got an obsessive compulsive disorder or whatever, they'll find it uh, really annoying, to be honest, to live, to work and live in the environments that I work in sometimes. But I don't really see it. Like, I mean, there is a sort of structure to the, my mess as well. And I don't let it get too bad. Like, I mean, you know, I don't like mold or anything or, you know, I don't leave things for like literally a month. It just sort of is a sort of natural entropy that emerges from just my natural way of dealing with the environment, essentially. Um, so my environment in the minute is actually in a bit of a mixed state. It's not like dead bad, but I've, you know, I've started to sort it out. I've got books up here, bought a few books. I've got a paint palette here, which is the main thing which has changed, and I'm also painting on the table. I'm getting another screen in here soon, so I'm starting to impose some order on it, but it, the thing is with how I structure my environment as a programmer is basically a slow, iterative... <laughs> Um, improvements basically so yeah I literally just I slowly incrementally improve the environment and I'm fine with a bit of chaos same with my artwork actually when I do my artwork I, I'm, I actually find it more comfortable to be in an environment in terms of the uh, creative environment especially that's a bit chaotic now it's new it's interesting with this new space I've got because it's literally a mixture of a creative painting space and a programming space, so that's a bit new. So, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's not dead bad. I mean, you can probably see there's some stuff there. I need to clear up the table a bit, but at the minute, is it is it impeding progress or is it getting in my way? No, not really. The only time I'd really notice mess is if it starts getting in my way. You know, like, if it starts annoying me, then it becomes an issue. But up until that point, it's like out of sight out of mind, you know, and uh, one thing I struggle with a lot actually is, uh, so excuse me, is uh, cups, so I, get, uh, I just forget, because I'm in the zone, you're drinking lots of coffee, you're drinking lots of energy drinks, um, you sort of, uh, it's very easy to get into the habit of just them all piling up, I guess, but I mean, I'm not too bad at that, I guess, the main thing to do, essentially, is just to have like a relatively common sense routine, Especially if you're working from home like I do and you're self-employed, then it's just, don't let it get, I mean, my philosophy with it is just like, don't let it get too out of hand, but don't like beat yourself up for a little bit. You know, sometimes you, if you're really busy with work as well, like, you, sometimes you just don't have time. Or like, I don't know, like, it's not like, I was going to make a really sexist joke that my way, I was just going to say, get married and have a wife and can clean up everything after you. But that's terrible. And that's not, uh, that's not very, uh, good thing to uh, you shouldn't expect that. that's a good way to ask for divorce actually it's a good way to get divorced is to just tell <laughs> that get so your wife clean up all my stuff or your husband or whatever or your i don't know non-binary partner of choice <laughs> just say like you clean all my stuff up yo that's just yeah, not a very good long-term solution you've got to discipline yourself a bit but again like not beat yourself up too much or get a slave no i'm joking um, <laughs> by a by a slave, no. Obviously, I'm joking. I'm just taking a piss. Um, I mean, I guess maybe you could you could um, get a private cleaner maybe to do stuff, but again, it's not really worth it unless you're earning a significant amount. I guess. Um, <laughs> it's gone off track a bit now, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, I know that's a weird vlog thing, but. And probably in a little bit of a way, it's a sort of justification for being a bit messy. But, you know, like if you've got a busy mind and you're really high f focusing on something which is on the screen, then you, you do get less time to structure your environment. Uh, but in general, it's I think it's really just a case of not letting it too out of hand. Like if it's a bit messy, a little bit of mess, I don't really think that's a huge issue. Uh, it's more just if, you know, if it gets to an extreme level, then maybe have a look at it. But as with anything, get into a half decent routine. And, uh, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> Don't know what else to say on that. Just thought of a, it'd be an interesting random vlog subject. I've not seen anyone really touch upon on how de developers are messy pigs. So, yeah, that's all. Have a good one.
like and subscribe if you like it. I try and do these at the end now because I just hate it when you go into a video and people are like, like and subscribe before you see the actual content. No. Judge the content and then ask. Anyway, I'm getting meta over the whole thing now, so yeah. Have a good day. Like and subscribe if you genuinely like it. And uh, I have a good one.